maybe you're still in chapter one. And before I do this, this is not a Bible because I knew the internet would lose its mind if I did what I'm about to do with a Bible. Some of you are still here in the beginning and you're waiting on God to turn the page and you're reluctant to turn the page. Or maybe you're somewhere in the middle and you think it's the end, but you're reaching the climax of a situation that you have no idea how it's going to turn out. And everything looks against you. Every, every good story has the beginning, the middle, and the end. And it's never good unless there's a problem to face and a problem to fix. And then when everything turns out good, if it's a good book and a good story, maybe you want to read it again. Maybe right now you're right here and you think you're back here. But God's like, no, you're really right here on the introduction page. And suddenly, God shows up in the middle of the story when nothing has changed, when nothing has ended, and there's a sound. Who's nervous? There is a sound like a mighty rushing wind. Now, I originally wanted a battery-operated one, but... uh, You know, just like the wind came from heaven, this too needs a source to come from. So you need to be plugging into Jesus a little bit more, waiting on the sound of the mighty rushing wind. And it's a violent wind, and it sounds scary. And it sounds loud, and it can blow the house down. I thought about doing that to y'all, but y'all's hair's too pretty. So maybe you're distant from your story and you're wondering, God, when are you going to show up? And chapter one has ended and nothing has changed. And suddenly God shows up to propel the story further and faster than you could imagine. Because when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, your Christian walk and your Christian faith goes from baby steps to killing Goliath. And you grow immediately and you're wondering, God, when are you going to show up? And you're wondering when he's going to be in your story. And suddenly there is a violent wind and you're still stuck in the tension of chapter one. And suddenly God turns the page. Your brokenness and your bitterness are back here in the beginning. Your pain is only in the prologue. And if you don't read any books, that's the intro. Your iniquity was just the introduction that you needed to know that you need a savior that can show up and save you from your sins, that he can sustain you in life. And suddenly God shows up with a mighty rushing wind to show you that your story is not over, to show you that there is the arrival of the anointing, to show you that there is the arrival of the Holy Spirit, to show you that there is the arrival of strength, to show you that there is the arrival of the pouring out, to show you that there is the arrival of the blessing, of the strength and the courage that God needs you to use to further his message. There is suffering back in chapter one. But the sound of the wind comes in, signaling the arrival of the assignment of the next chapter. And since the Savior provided the sacrifice, he's go- sacrifice, he's going to send his spirit to sustain your salvation, to sustain you for all that he is calling you to do, to further your faith, to help heal you, to help guide you, to strengthen you, to help you be brave, to help you be bold. The world will tell you that Christians condemn you, that church condemns you. The world will condemn you. God doesn't condemn you. Therefore, there is now no condemnation.